If anybody can see me right now, they probably think I've lost my mind. It's raining, it's dark and it's cold and I'm stood next to a pond in the countryside. But I haven't lost my mind. I've came here because it is the night of the toads. As you can probably tell, the annual toad migration is one of my favourite times of year. Although I said the night of the toads, this can happen over the course of a few days or sometimes even weeks and is when adult toads migrate en masse to ponds, lakes and slow flowing rivers to breed. These are common toads and by the time I got to the water's edge a few of them had already made their way into the water. But some were only starting their journey and they had a big obstacle to face, a road. Unfortunately, some of them had tried and failed. At least three years growing to adulthood, taken away in an instant. Common toads usually crawl rather than hop, and this makes them especially susceptible to cars and other vehicles. I watched as some of them made their own way to safety, sometimes just in the nick of time. But with some others, I gave them a helping hand. Not into the pond, but across the road and out of man-made danger. Ideally, I would have been wearing gloves, but I did clean my hands with fresh water before handling them for the shortest time possible. All except one of the toads that I found were males. They usually get to the water first, where they wait for the arrival of the females. Males grow to around 8cm long, excluding their legs and females are a bit larger at 10 centimeters long. They have been known to live for a very long time. One survived for more than 40 years. I've helped six or seven toes now, but unfortunately I've got to go. However, I am gonna come back in a couple of days when I'll show you hopefully some more toads, hopefully some that are paired up and maybe even some spawn. So stay there, because in about three seconds time, I'll be back here. One, two, Free. And I'm back. Unfortunately, it's been a bit more than two days. I did come back a couple of days later, but the temperature dropped and there was no toads to be seen. However, it's about a week later now. It rained a lot last night. It's about 13 degrees. I'm here at the pond, so I'm going to get down there and see if some more toads have arrived and if I can show you some spawn. The pond is relatively new and was dug three years ago as a drainage pond for a new nearby dual carriageway. The banks are quite bare and featureless, with only a couple of patches of reeds and an area of small trees growing in the shallows at one end. Taking a look beneath the surface, it didn't take long to find my first pair of toads. Here, the male is holding on to the female in a position known as amplexus. If he can, he'll hold on until she lays her spawn. There were lots of single males swimming around, searching for available mates, and sometimes trying to get a bit carried away with my camera, and each other. Another pair in Amplexus had started to lay their two rows of spawn, and were surrounded by single males who were all calling to advertise themselves. I couldn't hear anything from above the surface. This female in the shallows had a bit of a problem, it isn't uncommon for more than one male to get hold of a single female and this one was struggling along with two on her back. Among a patch of tree roots was a real toad hot spot. Mostly pairs and single males but then I noticed what's known as a mating ball. Somewhere among this blob of skin and legs will be a single female toad surrounded by desperate males. This can result in the female dying, but it is natural, so I made the choice not to intervene. Thankfully, there were plenty of signs nearby that some pairs had been successful in spawning. Thousands, perhaps hundreds of thousands of eggs, in strings of jelly tangled among the tree branches and roots.
Well, what a brilliant choice it was coming back here today. So many toads and more toad spawn than I've ever seen in my life. Now, I've probably got all the footage from this sort of stage in their life cycle that I want to get. So I'm going to leave them to it. I'm not going to disturb them anymore, but I will come back here in maybe two or three weeks time once the tadpoles start to emerge. And this place, this whole pond will be a swarming mess of developing amphibians. Now, if you did enjoy this video, why not watch this one right here where I show you some of the freshwater fish of the UK. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna say it, and that's all it's gonna be. Okay.